This occurring challenge is called pangram. A pangram is a string or a sentence that contains every letter of the alphabet. So in this challenge, we're going to receive a sentence and we need to determine if that sentence is a pangram. So we need to return either pangram or not pangram. I'm going to jump straight into my code here to explain how to solve this challenge. So here, this is the function. It has to return a string. It's called pangrams and it takes in a string parameter that we're going to call s. So here s is going to be our sentence. And then here I'm creating an array. It's an int array of size 26 and I'm setting all the elements to zero. So the reason why this size is 26 is because I want that array to correspond to the letters of the English alphabets. So for instance, index zero is going to correspond to A, index one is going to correspond to B, index two will correspond to C, index three will correspond to D and so on. For now, everything is set to zero to indicate that we've not found any character yet because we've not yet processed our string. So zero here is equal to false in this logic. Now I'm having this for loop and I'm checking for every character inside my string. I want to verify if the ASCII value for that character is between 97 and 122. Here, this is an inclusive range and this corresponds to a lowercase letter from the English alphabets. Let me quickly jump to ASCII-table.com. If I come here, you can see that on the last column for lowercase a, the ASCII value here is 97 and it goes in order all the way until z here, which has a value of 122. So this is the same thing here. If this evaluates to true, it means we're dealing with a lowercase letter and to get the correct index, I can have minus 97 and then update that element to one. So one here means that we found that character inside our sentence. So if for instance, I found a C here would be equal to 97 for the ASCII value. So that will be 97 minus 97 and that will be equal to zero. So index zero, like I explained, corresponds to the letter A. So that element here would have the value one to say that we've just found a lowercase a inside our sentence. And we repeat that logic here for uppercase letters. So again, if I go back to ASCII-table.com, you can see that in this column here, which is the third column from 65 here, which is for capital A, all the way to 90 for capital Z, these are the capital letters of the alphabets. If this evaluates to true, it means it's a capital letter. And therefore I want to update the corresponding elements by grabbing the correct index here and setting the value to one. Once I'm done processing my string here, I can loop through my array and verify if I still have a value of zero. If the sentence that we received here was a pangram, then by the time the processing is done here, all the values inside this array here are supposed to be set to one. If I'm still able to find zero somewhere, then I can stop everything and return not pangram. Otherwise, if that loop is able to go from index zero all the way to index 25, and this condition fails every time, it means that the string here was a pangram and therefore I return pangram. So let me run this code now. We've passed the two test cases here. So I'm going to submit this code. This is C++ by the way. And we've also passed all the test cases. So that's it guys for this Akarang challenge. It was called pangrams. If you like this video and you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.